GMC Sierra with hands-free driving. Yeah, it rocks. Step up to GMC with 0.9% APR for five years and no monthly payments for 90 days on 2022 Sierra Light Duty Crew Cab models. We are the tillers, the nurturers, the architects of flowers that spark the senses, landscapes that conserve our water, seedlings that will one day help provide the oxygen we breathe. We are the caregivers, cultivating and protecting. We are the garden coaches in classes and seminars, consultants at homes and businesses, encouraging and inspiring. Now together, we are the future. We are Belmont Nursery. Milk with your cereal. With Fairlife, it's more like cereal with your ultra-filtered milk. With a creamy taste plus 50% more protein, 50% less sugar. Turn nutrition into nutrition. Fairlife ultra-filtered milk. You love the hard floors in your home. At Stanley Steamer, we have a professional cleaning process for all the floors in your home. Brooms and mops just push the dirt around, but we remove the dirt and debris from your home completely. Call and schedule today. Next, all new drill. All hail Dame Helen Mira. I have a present for you. It was snuck onto the set without you knowing, and here it is. Isn't that the coolest thing? <laughs> The Drew Barrymore Show, today at 2 on KC24. KC24 News is brought to you in part by the Minza Rodriguez Team Realtors. Local news that matters. This is KC24 News Sunrise. Coming up on KC Sunrise, a man is dead after a fire in a drainage tunnel in central Fresno. Plus, a mother is being charged with murder after a fatal hit and run while driving drunk with her child inside the car. Make the decision of driving while intoxicated. And PG&E crews airlifting important machinery to avoid losing power from some of their substations being impacted by flooding in the South Valley. Connect them to the sling under the helicopter that will, that will lift them out. AC24 Sunrise starts now. All righty, good morning, everyone. I'm Taryn Mitchell. I'm Brady Logan. Thank you for joining us. It's 6.32 a.m. on this Tuesday, now April 25th. Right. If you're waking up with us, let's take a look out the door. If you get ready to start your day, you're seeing a beautiful sunrise out there in the distance. Let's check in with a better view. Good morning, Ruben. Of course, it's a nice start to the day. We're holding on to the warm temperatures, but the warm-up uh, really continues into the rest of the week, and it's going to feel a little like summer fairly soon. So uh, get ready for that. And, of course, we were in the 80s yesterday. We're going to stay in the 80s for today. We're keeping the cool mornings, though. We are in the upper 40s to low 50s this morning and winds are calm we're losing that nice breeze we had the past few days that was basically stalling the warm-up but things are going to pick up starting tomorrow and of course up in the sierra we are going to see a few clouds not expected any precipitation overall partly sunny skies for yosemite and shaver shaver in the 60s 70s though for yosemite valley these areas in the 30s this morning mid 70s in the foothills for oakers and of course into the weekend we were talking about low to mid 90s for the entire central valley getting very close to records we'll talk more about that in a couple minutes first for now we'll send it back to you well, around 3 this morning, Fresno Fire was called to Blackstone in Dayton for a fire coming from a building that used to be an IHOP. When they arrived, they began to put out the blaze from the rear of the building. Once they entered the structure, they found someone inside the building and immediately escorted that person out. Right now, there's no word on a suspect, and the cause of the fire is under investigation. The road was closed, but has since reopened. An Ivanhoe man is now in custody for allegedly sending death threats to a Tulare County deputy. Deputies say 29-year-old Damian Gruenberg was tracked down by detectives after sending threatening emails this past weekend. They say at the time of his arrest, he was armed with a ghost gun and had a loaded AR-15 within reach. Deputies say he also had ammunition and body armor in his home. Gruenberg is prohibited from having guns because of previous convictions. He was booked into the adult pretrial facility for terrorist threats and numerous firearm-related felonies. A homeless man is dead after a fire broke out inside a concrete drainage tunnel. This all happened around 2 on Monday afternoon on Santa Fe near the railroad tracks. First responders say they found the man dead inside the enclosure. But witnesses told firefighters they heard a man in the fire and tried to rescue him but were unsuccessful. Investigators believe the man was using the enclosure as some sort of shelter. There's still no word on the exact cause of the fire.
A Fresno mother is being charged with murder after she crashed her car into a tent, killing a woman. Then she fled the scene with her child. 28-year-old Erica Jones was arrested late Sunday night after the crash happened on Ashland near Highway 41. Police say they got calls about a car crashing into a tent. They found two women near the tent who were injured. Both of them rushed to a local hospital. One of those women did not survive. The other, at last check, is in critical condition. Witnesses told officers they saw a woman and a child walk away from that crash. Police found them soon after, determined the woman was behind the wheel with her kid in the car and drunk. This, I think, just highlights the uh, seriousness of um, people that might make the decision of driving while intoxicated and what can happen. Police say this incident happened after the woman was involved in a chase earlier that same night. The child in the car was not hurt in the crash. Jones is facing murder charges because of a previous DUI. Well, this week we're expected to reach the 90s for the first time this year. Well, that has pg e crews frantically working to avoid losing power from, from some of their substations impacted by the floods in the South Valley. Chinook or heavy lift helicopters are taking transformers that were underwater not too long ago and taking them to get tested in Lemoore. At least eight of these transformers that weigh about 6,000 pounds each were being pulled from the water yesterday. Eugenie says dive teams actually had to go underwater to get them airborne. We've had a dive crew go disconnect the transformers, unhook them from the pads, and connect them to the sling under the helicopter that will, that will lift them out. pg e says they'll continue to keep power running to the surrounding areas for pumps and equipment that locals may need. But once the water actually gets too high for them, they'll have to shut it off. As we hit the 90s for the first time all year, all eyes are on the rapid snow melt, which could turn into major flooding, even worse flooding than we've already had. Red Rodriguez has more on the warning from Fresno County. With hot temperatures returning to the Central Valley in the next week, the National Weather Service says temperatures could result in major flooding. Some of the snow that is between six and 8,000 feet is what we call ripe. And that means the snowpack is no longer really cold. So it is near a temperature in which it can melt a little faster. And the sun doesn't need to be out for the snow to melt. We're also gonna be looking at overnight lows and those elevations staying above freezing throughout the night, which is going to allow for snow melt to continue during the night as well as accelerate during the day. With all the expected runoff from the record snow, Fryant and Pine Flat dams are releasing water into the San Joaquin and Kings Rivers. We have enough uh, snowpack above Pine Flat Dam to fill it up and empty it almost four times. That's just, that's unheard of. With high water levels, the Fresno County Office of Emergency Services is playing a game of what if. Just trying to do everything from worst case scenarios to just a small levee break. How would we respond if the San Joaquin levee um, broke? here you know where's the water going to flow to the rivers may not be overflowing but should still be considered dangerous so yeah you know you could be standing on the side of a levee enjoying the water but all of a sudden the water gives out underneath you just you just can't predict what's going to happen along the rivers we need to choose life over recreation Rhett Rodriguez KC 24 local news that matters an annual commemoration was held in Fresno and throughout the county to commemorate the Armenian Genocide of 1915. It happened yesterday. It was held on the Day of Remembrance and of Learning. Many locals gathered to remember the 1.5 million Armenians killed. The ceremony is held every year at the Armenian Genocide Monument in Fresno State. The monument was erected in 2015 on the 100th anniversary of the genocide. The event included presentation of flags, a religious service, and songs by local students. Overall, the event importance was to inform and to make sure history does not repeat itself. KC24 sunrise time, about 640. Still ahead. Check out the new rules the Biden administration is laying out for power plants across the country. And one more spring-like day before summer heat arrives. First reporting algae forecast brought to you by Boz Allergy. Oak, birch, and poplar, the top pollens. We're in the medium to medium high range through Friday. We'll show you the hottest temperatures of the year so far as Casey Sunrise continues. I'm Abby. I'm Gabby. It's so nice to meet you. You said you had a great time on your date. 
I'm not one to kiss and tell, but we didn't kiss, so I can tell you everything. Keep me out of whatever this is. SNL's Melissa Villasenor on an all-new Night Court tonight on NBC. Tonight, it's an all-new menu. Without the fajita platter, I just look silly. Lopez is moving to Tuesdays. We've been in court, we've been in a pawn shop. If we hit up a strip club on the way home, this is my perfect day. Lopez versus Lopez, tonight after Night Court on NBC. Dad? I was the lead singer. Packing tape is like roadside assistance. Quality maps. So join AAA, America's most recommended roadside service. If you're a small business owner or individual that owes $10,000 or more to the IRS, SBA Accounting and Tax Solutions may be able to settle your debt from 85% off the amount owed. Our Central Valley Tax Resolution Specialists will structure a plan to free you from unfiled returns, wage garnishments, bank levies, and IRS harassment. Call today for your confidential consultation and free report on how to end your IRS problems. SBA Accounting and Tax Solutions will help you get your life back. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we created the SUVs of the future for everyone. Ford Edge and Explorer, built with bliss to detect vehicles in your blind spot and with lane keeping system. Because the SUVs of the future aren't created for just a few. They're made for America. Ford Edge and Explorer. Drive one today. Get Ford Explorer at 0.9% APR for 60 months, plus 1,000 bonus cash. Or get Ford Edge for 0% APR for 72 months, plus 3,000 bonus cash. This van just hit me out of nowhere. I thought I was dead. After the accident, I was in a lot of pain, and I decided that I needed to get an attorney because I could not work. I called Jacoby and Myers. They had their own dream team for every need, every area. They took care of me like a queen. I would recommend you call Jacoby and Myers. They really went to bat for me. If you've been in a serious accident, we are here for you. Call Jacoby and Myers, justice for you since 1972. The six pillars of character support student academics and their personal development. Through Your Character Matters, the Tulare County Office of Education and KC24 bring you stories of students living these values. Each week, you'll meet great role models with inspiring stories. Of community service, standing up for others, and preparing themselves for the future. We're proud to share these stories of young people changing the world for the better. Your Character Matters, Tuesdays at 5 on KC24, local news that matters. A garden hose is like roadside assistance. Quality matters. So join AAA, America's most recommended roadside service. Our temperatures are on the cool side, and they'll be a little warm this afternoon. Then it's going to be hot for the rest of the week into the weekend. Outside first, to show you a live picture right now. The sunrise happening from our Valley Cam at Kauia Health in Visalia this morning. Clear skies. You can see the sun starting to rise over the Tulare County mountain range this morning. 49 in Visalia. Winds are fairly light out of the south at 3 miles an hour, and visibility is looking pretty good. We're losing that breeze we had yesterday. That kind of just stalled the warm-up for another day or so. Not bad to have lunch outside. Temperatures in the upper 60s at 11 o'clock, low 70s at noon, then mid 70s at 1 o'clock. Winds will be calm, plenty of sunshine. We'll see some clouds in the Sierra, though. Tomorrow, though, we jump into the 90s for our high temperatures, and the warm continues into the weekend. We might even challenge some record highs on Saturday. We'll talk more about that in a couple minutes with the seven-day forecast. First for now, we'll send it back to you. Well, today, President Joe Biden announced re-election in a video release titled Freedom. Well, the president said that the battle continues in the face of extreme MAGA Republicans who are focused on taking away Americans' rights and dividing the country. His 2020 candidacy on a platform of restoring the soul of our nation, rebuilding the backbone of the country, the middle class, and uniting the country overall. The Biden administration gearing up for a major new environmental fight. As early as this week, we could see new rules from the Environmental Protection Agency that would control emissions from natural gas power plants. Any new regulations on plant emissions are likely to be challenged in court, and critics warn they could impact the reliability of America's electrical grid. That can lead to higher energy costs for families already suffering from inflation. This Thursday, the state assembly will hold a hearing on a series of fentanyl-related bills. Just last week, Republicans voiced their outrage over the lack of action on these bills by the Public Safety Committee chair who actually argued some of them were repetitive and provided no rational solutions. Those six bills would then call for the creation of fentanyl task force while increasing sentences for fentanyl dealers 
actually found to have caused great bodily injury or death and increased penalties for dealers caught selling fentanyl on social media. The House GOP says they will explore new other ways to advance their anti-abortion agenda. It appears to be a remarkable shift that underscores how the GOP is wrestling with how to approach the topic ahead of the 2024 elections. In interviews with dozens of Republicans, the vast majority, even the staunchest opponents of abortion, rejected the idea of Congress pursuing a national ban. They say leadership has no plans on the horizon for it to be a centerpiece of their agenda. KC24 Sunrise Time, 645. And still ahead, a look at the final days of the local Bed Bath & Beyond following their filing for bankruptcy. That story coming up. Stick with us. I see on KC stories of everyday people making a big difference. A community of local health care advocates committed to a healthier Central Valley. In fighters, I see courage. And in supporters, I see compassion. In survivors, I see grace and dignity. I see what matters. I see local stories making an impact. And I invite you to see it all here every day on KC24 News. I'm John Burke. My job is to teach people how to peel juicy, delicious peels. This is John Burke. He spends all day at work trying to show people how mandarins work. Do people need my services? John Burke is nervous. He knows he has no purpose. In fact, his whole career can't be summed up in six words. As you peel them, you eat them, you peel them, you eat them, you peel them. As it you turns peel out, it's actually them, pretty simple. Eat them, peel them, eat them. Any questions? We've seen a wet winter season this year. Along with green grass and spring flowers, allergies may start earlier, and COVID, flu, and other viruses are still very active. Buzz Allergy knows coughing, wheezing, and headaches due to allergies and asthma can mimic virus symptoms. Take away the guesswork and get proper diagnosis and early treatment from our Valley locations before allergy symptoms arrive. Stay safe and stay healthy. Contact Buzz Allergy today and breathe easier. April 30th, get a fixed rate mortgage loan at EECU for as low as 5.131% APR with no origination fee. Apply online today at myeecu.org. EECU is an equal housing lender. Experience the freedom of the open road at the Best RV Center in Turlock. Voted number one selling RV dealer in California, Best RV offers a huge selection of new and used RVs at the lowest prices with no hidden fees. From Class A, B, and C to travel trailers, fifth wheels, toy haulers, and more, Best RV guarantees to make your travels unforgettable. Now through the end of April, take advantage of even bigger discounts with Best RV's blowout sales event. For the best selection at the best prices on all current inventory, visit bestrv.com today. 24 News is always available at the new yourcentralvalley.com. Our temperature is still unseasonably warm today, but this is really nothing compared to what we're going to be dealing with later on to the weekend to the weekend with our hottest temperatures of the year so far. We will keep the cool mornings, but even our morning temperatures are going to be warming up each day for the rest of the week. 48 now in Lemoore and uh, Porterville, 54 in Fresno and 51 for Merced this morning. And it is cooler out there for some spots compared to this time yesterday. There was a little bit of cooler that made its way into the valley yesterday, stalling the warm up. And of course, we had a nice breeze from time to time throughout the day on Monday into Monday evening, but the winds have calmed down this morning, staying below 10 miles an hour across the valley. And when winds calm down, that's a sign that warming up, high pressure is going to build over us. We have clear skies, though. Check out our valley cam and live picture this morning, powered by Eagle Mountain Casino. This one at Sun Made, Palm and Herndon. Traffic starting to pick up in uh, northwest Fresno, but there's the sun. Now for
for parts of the Central Valley with clear skies. We'll see a few clouds develop over the Sierra. Another sign that things are melting away. Look at the uh, snow that's already gone in some parts of the China Peak area. This is a live picture from one of the resorts webcams up in the mountains of Fresno County. This is at the base of the hill. Obviously, not too unusual to see the snow to start to melt at this elevation, but things are going to pick up really quick with that ridge of high pressure warming things up fast. So the National Weather Service has issued a flood watch mainly for the Yosemite area and for a good portion of the uh, Mariposa County Mountains and the northern portion of the Madera County Mountains. This is tomorrow night all the way through Tuesday. And of course, we still got that flood advisory for the San Joaquin River. We still got that flood warning for the Kings River, not only because of the uh, runoff, but due to the water release from Pine Flat Dam and Fright Dam. There's the ridge out in the Pacific now. It builds over California starting tomorrow and it continues to uh, strengthen as we move forward to the rest of the week into the weekend. And that trough that cooled us off just a little bit yesterday, that has moved off to the southeast. 90s in April, not too unusual. On average, Fresno has its first 90 degree day around the 23rd. And of course, today is the 25th, tomorrow the 26th. The latest that's ever happened though, June 1st said back in 1917, but the earliest March 15th, 2015. And of course, Last year, it was on March 25th, or 4th, I should say. Future cast shows just a few high clouds here and there later on for today, but that's about it, though. We will still see some clouds develop on the backside of the mountain range because there's still snow at the highest train of the Sierra, and that helps produce the cloud cover. Kind of a classic summertime pattern we are going to be in for the rest of the week into the weekend. 80s across the valley today. Foothills for the, uh, will be in the 70s. And, of course, walking the pups, take care of that now because it's going to be a little hot for them later on in the week. Make sure they also have plenty of water. But today, not bad at all. Just a little warm for them at 84 degrees this afternoon. This is our friend Jackpot. Thanks to our other friend, Madera's Pad, for sending me this picture. Jackpot, uh, Jackpot enjoying a nice hike in Yosemite. That's the uh, Half Dome and, of course, uh, El Capitan off in the background right there. As always, if you want your pup on Casey Sunrise, just go to Ruben Casey 24 on social media. We'll show it right here. 70 forecast shows temperatures continue to heat up for the rest of the week into the weekend. Our hottest temperatures of the year so far. Our hottest temperatures since last fall. We're going to be in the low to mid 90s Thursday through Saturday, getting a little close to records in some parts of the valley for the first half of the weekend. But the winds pick up Sunday night into Monday and we cool off fairly fast for next week. You can catch your regional forecast any time of the day. Just go to yourcentervalley.com to check it out. For now, we'll send it back to you. All righty, well, Fresno's Bed Bath & Beyond store will be among the 360 stores officially closing its doors. The company filed for bankruptcy protection and will also be closing 120 Bye Bye Baby stores. There's also one of those here in Fresno. Just heads up, final store sales will begin on Wednesday. And all remaining stores are expected to close by the end of June. What am I supposed to do with my drawer full of coupons? You have coupons for this store? Bed Bath & Beyond? Really? That's all they sent. Okay. <laughs> California, among other western states, leads the country for having the worst levels of air pollution. It's according to a report published by the American Lung Association last week. Los Angeles, Bakersfield, and yes, here in the Central Valley, Visalia topped the states of the air's report as the three cities were the most ozone polluted. Experts warn that living in areas with ozone pollution makes breathing difficult. The report also found that nearly a third of the U.S. population lived with unhealthy levels of air pollution between 2019 and 2021. Well, researchers from the European Cardiology Society found effective treatments for depression can actually lower heart disease risks. The study examined data results of about 637,000 adults who are suffering from depression. Well, those who went through treatments such as therapy had 10 to 15 percent lower cardiovascular risks. That's compared to those who went through treatments but didn't improve depression symptoms. The best effects were seen in those under 60 years old. KC24 Sunrise Time is 6.53. We're going to take a look at this morning's top stories, but first, this is coming up on the Today Show. Good morning, guys. Coming up on today, much more on this morning's breaking news. President Biden launching his re-election bid. We will break down his message to voters and the challenges he is expected to face. Also ahead, help if you are looking to sell your home in this volatile real estate market. Vicki has an eye-opening lesson on the importance of staging and how you can also do it on a budget. And then Oscar winner Laura Dern joins us to talk about the powerful new book she has written with her mom. And we're going to the birds. We got special guests in celebration of World Penguin Day. And then Martha Stewart's gonna bring her chickens to our plaza. That's all happening, that and more later on today. Trump on trial. The former president sued by the advice columnist who claims he raped her almost 30 years ago, which he denies. Next, Inside Edition.
Inside Edition, tonight at 7 on KC24. Start your day with KC24 to get all the local news that matters on KC Sunrise. You are what you litter. Coffee cups. Cigarette butts. Food wrappers. Soda cans. Litterheads are a major problem. But we all have a choice. Don't be a litterhead. One vision, one mission, one Fresno. Together, we can beautify Fresno. Find out how at beautifyfresno.org. lead singer. Packing tape is like roadside assistance. Quality matches. So join AAA, America's most recommended roadside service. Your cancer story is about more than diagnosis, treatment, and medication. At California Cancer Associates for Research and Excellence, our board-certified team makes sure that every visit is filled with compassion as well as expert care. Our state-of-the-art facilities provide the treatment. Our staff gives you vital support along your journey. Your cancer story is about more. Our story is about care beyond treatment, focused on outcomes. Contact us today. See care. Caring physicians. Caring for people. It was my first accident ever. I was like shaking. I know. When I first reached out to Jacoby and Myers, I didn't know if I had a case or not. As soon as I got a hold of my attorney, she was very, very nice, very kind. Because of Jacoby and Myers, I don't have that pressure to worry about a medical bill or things like that. If I know of any accident, I'm like, call Jacoby and Myers, they'll help you. If you've been in a serious accident, we are here for you. Call Jacoby and Myers, justice for you since 1972. Richie Gamblay here with a special weather report for the month of April. Humidity's rising, barometer's getting low. It's going to be raining and touchy. Not water, but lots of dough. Hallelujah, it's raining. Over $400,000 in cash and prizes. You could be one of 700 promotional winners this month. Leave those umbrellas at home, players, all April long. Only at the Tachi Palace Casino Resort. This is 40. A garden hose is like roadside assistance. Quality matters. So join AAA, America's most recommended roadside service. Your character matters Tuesdays at 5 on KC24, local news that matters. Just now, police activity at an apartment complex near Fresno State. This is live video from that area. You can see just how large the police presence is there. This is close to Shaw and Recreation Avenues. We are waiting an update from police to try to get a sense of exactly what's going on. This is all we know is that there is a very large police presence at this apartment complex. It is near Fresno State, Shaw and Recreation Avenue. As soon as we learn more information, we're going to keep you updated at midday at 11 and online at yourcentervalley.com. And a woman was arrested late Sunday night after she crashed into a tent on Ashland near Highway 41. Two women were injured and one died from their injuries. When Jones was arrested, she was found to have been drunk at the time of the crash. The, her child in the car at the time of the crash was not injured. And today, President Joe Biden announced his re-election. In a video released today titled Freedom, the president said that the battle continues in the face of extreme MAGA Republicans who are focused on taking away Americans' rights and dividing the country. Well, his 2020 candidacy on a platform of restoring the soul of our nation, rebuilding the backbone of the country, and especially for the middle class. And we're starting the day off with cool temperatures, but that warm up still on track for the rest of the weekend to the weekend. Outside first to show you a live picture from one of our New Valley cams. This one at Eagle Mountain Casino in Porterville. The sun is now up the over the Tulare County Mountains this morning. Cold temperatures, most of the valley in the low 50s. We do got a few spots in the outline areas in the upper 40s, definitely in the 40s, even the 30s in some parts of the Sierra. And speaking of the Sierra, here's the view from our Valley cam at Meadow Lakes in Fresno County. Clear skies this morning and our temperatures this afternoon for the valley. Low 80s once again, but the winds will be calm.
plenty of sunshine. Temperatures heat up to the 90s starting tomorrow, and that continues for the rest of the week into the weekend, getting a little close to records on Saturday, and then the winds pick up, and we cool off next week. We'll send it back to you. Stay tuned for the Today Show. That's coming on next. We'll be back at 11 for KC24 Midday. That's right. Have a wonderful rest of your morning, everyone. Tuesday morning breaking just moments ago President Biden making it official he is running for re-election it is April 25th this is today let's finish this job I know we can President Biden using this new video to launch his 2024 campaign touting his record and taking aim at Republican rivals the stage now set for a potential rematch with Donald Trump with voters raising concerns about both candidates we will have complete coverage as the road to the White House intensifies breaking overnight hopeful news for thousands of Americans attempting to flee the war zone in Sudan a ceasefire there now in effect the city was complete mayhem when I left. There were power cuts.